This video is an introduction why we use Dart and what are the benefits. Commenting code. The main entry point to an application. How to declare variables. Numbers. Strings. Booleans. Lists. Maps. Runes. Operators. Before you can start developing Flutter apps, you need to understand the programming language used, namely Dart. Google created Dart and it uses it internally with some of its big products such as Google Ads. Made available publicly in 2011, Dart is used to build mobile, web, and server applications. Now, Dart is productive, it's fast, portable, approachable, but most of all, reactive. Dart is an object-oriented programming language and it's a straightforward language to learn and you can get started relatively quickly. Now, what are some of the benefits of using Dart? Dart is ahead of time compiled to native code, making your Flutter app fast. In other words, there's no intermediary to interpret one language to another and there are no bridges. Ahead of time compilation is used when compiling your app for release mode. Dart is also just-in-time compiled, making it fast to display your code changes, such as Flutter's stateful hot reload feature. Just-in-time compilation is used when debugging your app by running it in the simulator. Now, since Flutter uses Dart, all of the user interface code is written in Dart, removing the need to use separate languages like markup code and visual designers to create the UI. Flutter rendering runs at 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second for capable devices. Now, the more frames per second, the smoother the animations in the app. Comments can be used to describe the logic and dependencies of the app. There are three types of comments, single line, multi-line, and documentation comments. Single line comments are commonly used to add a short description. Single line comments begin with a two forward slashes and the Dart compiler ignores everything to the end of the line. Multi-line comments are best suited for long descriptions that span multiple lines. Multi-line comments begin with a forward slash asterisk and end with an asterisk forward slash. The Dart compiler ignores everything between the slashes. Documentation comments are used to fully document a piece of code logic, usually giving detailed explanation and simple code in the comments. Documentation comments begin with three forward slashes, and the Dart compiler ignores everything to the end of the line, unless enclosed in brackets. Using brackets, you can refer to classes, methods, fields, top-level variables, functions, and parameters. In the following example, the generated documentation filter by, enclosed in two square brackets, becomes a link to the API documentation for the class. You can use the SDK's documentation generation tool, Dart doc, to parse Dart code and generate HTML documentation. Every app must have a top-level main function, which is the entry point to the app. The main function is where the app execution starts and returns a void with an optional string list parameter for arguments. Each function can return a value, and for the main function, the data return type is a void, empty, contains nothing, meaning that it doesn't return a value. In the following code, you see three different ways to use the main function. The most commonly used is the first example, the arrow syntax. All three ways to call the main functions are acceptable. I prefer using the arrow syntax since it keeps the code on one line for better readability. Variables store references to a value. Some of the built-in variable types are numbers, strings, booleans, lists, maps, and runes. You can use var to declare a variable without specifying the type. Dart infers the type of variable automatically. Although there's nothing wrong with using var, 
The clearing the variable type makes for better code readability, and it's easier to know which type of value is expected. When declaring a variable without giving an initial value, it's called uninitialized, and it has a null value, meaning no value. Use final or const when the variable is not intended to change the initial value. Use const for variables that need to be compile time constants, meaning the value is known at compile time. In Dart, all variables are declared public, meaning available to all by default. But by starting the variable name with an underscore, you can declare it as private. By declaring a variable private, you're saying it cannot be accessed from outside classes and functions. If the value of a variable doesn't need to change, begin the declaration of the variable with final or const. Use final when the value is assigned at runtime, in other words, can be assigned once by the user. Use const when the value is known at compile time, like in code, and will not change at runtime. Declaring variables as numbers restricts the values to numbers only. Dart allows numbers to be integer or double. Use the integer declaration if your numbers do not require decimal point positions like 10 or 50. Use the double declaration if your numbers require decimal point positions like 10.25 or 50.7525. Both integer and double allow for positive and negative numbers and you can enter extremely large numbers and decimal precision since they both use the 64-bit values. Declaring variables as string allows values to be entered as a sequence of text characters. To add a single line of characters, you can use single or double quotes. To add multi-line characters, use triple quotes. Strings can be concatenated, combined, by using the plus operator or by using adjacent single or double quotes. Declaring variables as Boolean allows a value of true or false to be entered. Declaring variables as list, comparable to arrays, allows multiple values to be entered. A list is an ordered group of objects. In programming, an array is an iterable access sequentially collection of objects, with each element accessible by the index position or a key. To access elements, the list uses zero-based indexing, where the first element index is at zero, and the last element is at the list length, the number of rows, minus one, since the first index is zero and not one. A list can be of fixed length or growable depending on your needs. By default, the list is created as growable by using list. To create a fixed length list, you add the number of rows required by using this format. The following example uses string interpolation for the print statement. The dollar sign before the variable converts the expression value to a string. Maps are invaluable in associating a list of values by a key and a value. Mapping allows recalling values by their key ID. The key and value can be of any type of object, such as string, number, and so on. Keep in mind that the key needs to be unique since the value is retrieved by the key. In Dart, Declaring variables as runes are the UTF-32 code points of a string. Emojis, anyone? Unicode defines a numeric value for each letter, digit, and symbol. Dart uses the sequence of UTF-16 code units to represent a 32-bit Unicode value from a string require a special syntax. The following is a Unicode point where the 4x characters is a four-digit hexadecimal value. Runes return the integer value of the Unicode. Then you use the string from character codes to allocate a new string for the specified character code. An operator is a symbol used to perform arithmetic, equality, relational, type test.
assignment, logical, conditional, and cascade notation. The following are some of the common operators, and for the sample code, I use the values directly to simplify the examples instead of using variables.